The Arizona Cardinals are a team in need of some major changes. Going into the season with a new head coach and a new GM, the new regime is looking to turn things around in the desert. With one of the worst rosters in the entire league, it will without a doubt be a very difficult task to complete, which is why the team ownership has appointed me to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the realistic rebuild of the Arizona Cardinals. So just jumping right into it, we're going to go over the depth charts. First with the offense, this is what the offense is looking like. So first, as you guys can see, Kyler Murray is not here on the depth chart. That is because he is injured and he will be out until week number six. So that means Josh Dobbs will be our starting quarterback with Clayton Toon as his backup. And yes, we can't go without mentioning the rookie first round pick, Paris Johnson Jr. He will be starting at right tackle for us. And I might make a few moves before the start of the season. I guess we'll see. But yeah, this is what the offense is looking like. So now moving on to check out the defense. As you guys can see, we are running a 4-3 formation. And as you guys might have also seen, Buda Baker is not in the defensive depth chart. That is because he is injured, so he's out for a couple of weeks. And on top of that, he also has his trade request. So if we're not able to get some wins this season, he might want out of Arizona. So we might end up trading him this offseason. So that is definitely something to keep our eyes on. But yeah, overall, this is what the defense is looking like going into our first season. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a realistic rebuild. So I made some rules for myself that I have to follow. Those being number one, no crazy trades, pretty self-explanatory. I can't trade away three players and three picks for some superstar or something like that. Like they have to be realistic trades things that could happen in real life you know nothing over the top like that doesn't prevent me from making trades it's just they have to be realistic and on that same note little to no in division trades so I can't trade for like Aaron Donald or you know just most players I can't trade for I can trade for some of course but it's mostly in division trades will just be trade downs and stuff like that. And then moving on to rule number two, no signing all of the top free agents. I think that's also pretty self-explanatory. You know, I am allowed to sign a top free agent, but I can't sign the best player at each position for every position. That would be just very unrealistic, and I'm also not going to sign that many free agents every offseason. I'm going to try to limit myself to probably around 10, 15. I guess we'll see just depends on what happens in the season but um for higher tier free agents i am going to have to overpay if we're not winning games just to make it seem a little more realistic um because you know they're not going to sign a cheap deal for a team that's not winning games that just wouldn't happen so for the higher tier free agents i'm gonna have to overpay and yeah i'm just not allowed to sign all of the top free agents i can sign some just not all of them then that leads us into our last two rules which i think are pretty self-explanatory like i've been saying my moves have to be realistic i can't just make a bunch of random trades like i can't get easy players to get i have to build up this team correctly the right way you know mostly through the draft and you know through picking up some free agents but yeah i have to build up this team correctly and as you guys can see the last rule like i mentioned before kyler murray is out until week six so josh dobbs is our starter for now might throw clayton tune out there we'll see but yeah those are our rules going into this rebuild which then leads us right into our settings for this rebuild um pretty self-explanatory stuff here i will be playing six games per season i might change that i might do more it just depends you know if the season's going by slow i might only do five games but if it's going by too quick i feel like i might play eight games next season we'll see but i will be playing three division games can be either home or away doesn't matter i'll decide that and if week one is a division game, I will play that regardless, but then I will also play week three, assuming that is not a division game. If that also is, then yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out if it happens, but yeah, then I will also be playing a non-division game in the season. And if a playoff push is possible, then I will be playing week 17, but if it's not, if we're eliminated from playoff contention, then I'm only playing week 18. But other than that, 7 minute quarters, all Madden difficulty, default sliders, that's how the games are going to be played. 
and um, for extra info we have injuries and salary cap on just to keep everything 100% realistic. So with the season starting soon I decided to bring in a couple players you know one signed a fullback because we didn't have one yet two I signed Grady Williams because I wasn't really confident with our cornerback depth and three I signed Matt Corral just because I think we needed another quarterback just to bring in some competition but yeah those are the three signings that I decided to make. But yeah, that covers everything setup wise for this rebuild. I'm going to try and upload an episode once every couple of days. We'll see how we do with that. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time.